the basic of the basic. A lot of places carry this. If you work for Premier, you have this. This is just a box. Then you have these guys that I used to have one prepackaged. That is called a Sam Splint, and it's like a little moldable foam type of situation. You can use whatever one you want on testing. So I'm going to show you the basic one first. So same thing, I come up to my patient, be aside from easy and safety, address my patient. He's going to tell me what's wrong. Now, wrist, tip, my tip, the blood is already been a lot of the day, on the radius, <laughs> elbow, or humerus. That all should be splinted. And then you would sling and swap. Okay? Once again, if it's a wrist fracture or dislocation, if it's ulnar radius break, if it is elbow break or fracture or humerus, that all has to be splinted. The one I'm going to show you right now is for anything from the wrist to your uh, ulnar radius. So I'm going to have my patient hold his arm just like he did last time. I'm going to use my box because that's how they come, nice and straight. And I'm going to use his uninjured arm to measure. When you're looking at your skill sheet, it's going to tell you that you have to secure the joint below and the joint above. So if his break is right here, where is my joint above? Elbow. Elbow. Where's his joint below? Wrist. wrist. So that's why I'm making sure the box can cover. So I want to make sure ideally you can go about the wrist and it's going to be able to come up to the, the elbow, okay? These are kind of pre-cut. Sometimes they work. Sometimes someone's arm may be too small. You have several options. You could loop it through with your rolled gauze, but no one really does that because that takes a lot of time. Of course, I don't have any one pre-roll. This is what a donut gauze looks like, by the way. This is my full-time practice. So see how it's a little scrunchy? That's what, that would hold the knife. Perfect, I have one rolled. All right, so after I do that, I'm gonna come and do PMSCs, make sure that everything is okay. I'm gonna have my partner or my patient once again go ahead and lift up his arm slightly, and I'm gonna slide this in. I'm gonna have him bring his arm out and place it down. Okay. Can you just hold that real quick? Yeah. Now, your rolled gauze, you just wanna come across you're going to probably have to have a partner to kind of help you and you want to roll off of your roll it makes it so much easier if you roll off if there is an obvious deformity i do not roll over it i would just leave that part open when it comes to the elbow go ahead and bend i'm going to do a figure eight so i'm going to come down and come up and keep wrapping Okay. If you need two, you need two. Put your hand down. Bam, bam. There we go. Okay. So that would be nice and secure. All right. I'm going to pat anything if needed. And then we have a position of function. For a hand, it is down with a slight grip. Okay. Because if you ever seen someone get casted, if it's a tip fit, they're going to have this little thing to it. So I'm going to have my patient hold something, and that's his position of function. I can go ahead and wrap it if he's like, I don't want to carry this. I can wrap it into place so that he doesn't have to worry about dropping it, but otherwise you can just have your patient carry it. Remember, if it is like this, you need to provide it more support, and what we're going to do is put that sling on it. So here. It's going to go inside and it's going to go over and then you do your whole process again. All right. So that is for a wrist tip. I think not tip. Yep. Uh, radiola. Or if you had a wrist dislocation as well. Okay. 